If you are looking for the best gaming keypads, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on gaming keypads in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a gaming keypads, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. The first position of our list, we have Razer Tartarus V2 Gaming Keypad. It is absolutely important that the best keypad for gaming check all boxes and Tartarus does just that. Despite being rather small in size, it has 32 programmable keys with matte black plastic finishing. Like the previous Nostromo keypad, the Tartarus also consists of an adjustable palm rest with full leather padding. Additionally, there is also an 8-way directional thumb pad, which allows for more neutral controls for navigation. Of course, Razer being Razer has thrown in that extra RGB flare as well. Keys Razer has equipped the Tartarus V2 with Razer's mecha membrane technology instead of simple mechanical switches. In all honesty, that is the only place where the Tartarus V2 might lack behind for some. Mecha mechanical switches mimic the feel of the clicky mechanical switches, but it's just not that. The 32 keys are fully programmable and are made even more fun with a feature called Hypershift. Features? Just like all of Razer's products and peripherals, the Tartarus V2 is governed by Razer's Synapse software. Through the Synapse software, you can customize the different programmable keys by assigning macros, remapping and rebinding, and much more. Tartarus V2's keys, like most Razer products, have individual RGB LED mounted under them. That lets you customize the RGB effects with 16.8 million colors at your disposal. With the Hypershift mode, the 32 keys are switched into a different set which you can program based on your liking. Moving on to the next and number two with Logitech G13 Pad. With 25 programmable keys, the G13 is also a very customizable option for one-handed gaming. The keys are molded into a slightly curved shape to make them easier to press and reach. The G13 has a rubber palm and wrist rest. However, there isn't much padding about them. On the side lies a joystick and two buttons that can be reprogrammed. The main highlight of the G13 is, of course, the LCD panel. The panel can be used to have CPU stats displayed, changing macros on the fly, and much more. Keys Logitech is G13 has 25 programmable keys along with three different profiles for the keys. The Condored keys help match the curvature of the G13 keypad. While gaming, you need to reach the buttons instantly, and therefore, the curvature helps achieve that. It makes it a good gaming keypad for games like Fortnite. The four center keys are mapped to WASP by default, but they can be changed as well. Features? There are a few rough spots here and there, but the G13 is a very well-built and great-performing keypad. The G13 will come to you with an installation disk containing the software which you'll need to install, as there is no plug-and-play functionality. It does have onboard memory to save your profiles, but the software is needed anyway. The LCD panel will display any important stats that you might need to monitor without switching tabs. The Logitech G13 has a few quirks that set it back, but they're minor compared to what it gets right. The G13 is ideal for not just portable gaming via a laptop, but can be used with a desktop as well. Unfortunately, it will set you back because it does cost much more than Tartarus. The number 3 position is held by Razer Orbweaver Chroma. The Orbweaver Chroma has immense customization options, and it does not compromise on comfort and ergonomics at all. Everything about the Orbweaver Chroma has been constructed with ease of use kept in mind. It has a higher palm rest than the rest, however. That's not it. The palm rest, keep it, and thumb part with the joystick are all adjustable pieces. Its shape lets you play for hours without feeling any discomfort. There are 20 programmable buttons at your disposal and all the keys have backlighting in them with customization options available in Synapse. Keys Razer goes all the way with the Orbweaver Chroma as the keys are mechanical switches. The switches have very optimized actuating and reset points. All of the keys are backlit, with 20 keys being fully programmable with Synapse. The thumb controls feature a joystick and two additional buttons. The thumb buttons have just the right amount of force about them that prevents accidental clicking. Features the Nostromo featured a two-part palm rest, whereas the Orbweaver adds onto that and gives the users several more adjustable parts. The thumb buttons can be independently positioned as well. All of these make for a very high level of ease of use. The Chroma edition of the Orbweaver lets you customize RGB lighting on your keypad. And with the Synapse, 
You can sync it with other Razer peripherals. Next at number 4, we have Deluxe T946 Keypad. The Deluxe T946 Keypad is a little different from the previously mentioned keypads in the sense that it has no joystick. The Deluxe T9 essentially is just a cutout version of the left side of the keyboard. It has a few extra controls, but that's really what it is. The Deluxe T9 is a compact keypad with all the essentials that you need. The padding is sufficient as to not put a strain on your wrist when you use it. And for the price tag, it is comfortable too with that design. Keys. As the name suggests, the Deluxe T9 has 46 keys that offer various functions, like escape, volume up and down, function keys, etc. The keys are recess type keys, which make them quite user friendly. The Deluxe T9 sports a very friendly price tag, but with that comes the omission of extra features. The keys have defined functions and therefore cannot be used to assign macros. You can think of the Deluxe T9 as more of a half keyboard for gaming purposes. Features? Everything that the Deluxe T9 has to offer lies in its ease of use and simplicity. The keys have predefined purposes and therefore you cannot use them to define any macros or remap them. It is simply a plug and plays gaming keypad. Perhaps a half keyboard would be more fitting for this. The number 5 position is held by Razer Nostromo PC Gaming Keypad. The Nostromo Gaming Keypad by Razer was the one that made a mark in the market for keypads. The Nostromo has three distinct parts the wrist rest, keypad, and the thumb controls on the side. And all of these parts use comfort. The wrist rest can be adjusted however. The process requires you to first pull off the wrist rest and then adjust it. Luckily, the Nostromo is built to last so it won't take any damage off of that provided you handle it with care. The joystick is at an ideal position so that no matter your hand size, you will find the Nostromo to be comfortable. Keys The keys are made with a little glossy plastic and they are very easy to use. You're already limited to a rather compact space should you choose to game with a keypad. However, the Nostromo proves that through ergonomics, it can be done with ease. The keys do not require very high force to be registered and it just feels right to the touch. The 16 keys are fully programmable, and they come with a blue LED backlight underneath them. Features? The Razer Nostromo is an old keypad, and there have been many additions to the gaming keypad market since then. But the Nostromo still manages to hold its own with what it offers. The 16 hyper-response keys are fully programmable, and you can use Razer's software to do that. You can switch between 8 different key mappings on the fly and 20 different profiles. The number 6 position is dominated by Acepha T9. Like the previous Deluxe T9 keypad, the Acepha T9 is a cutout of the left half of a keyboard. It has numeric keys of up to 6 other basic keys that you'll find on a keyboard. The size of the Acepha T9 is quite compact so it can be carried around easily without any problems. The wrist pad is very soft but its size makes it so that your hand rests on top of it at all times. And on the right corner is a big button used as a substitute for the space key. Keys. There are 29 keys at your disposal, and 16 keys rollover means that all your button presses are registered at all times. Although this keyboard excels at MOBA games due to the keys available, the spacing of the keys and ergonomics make it suitable as a gaming keypad for Fortnite as well. The Acepha T9 might not look as flashy as others, but it can get the job done. Features. Although the layout of the Acepha T9 Gaming Keypad is that of a normal keyboard, the keys are fully programmable, and the keys have seven different backlighting colors available. It's not RGB, but given the price, it is still quite amazing. Moving on to the next at number seven with SADS Mechanical Keyboard. Despite half keyboards gaining popularity, not everyone is familiar with them. For those who've been using a full keyboard, a half keyboard seems like a step down. But the SADS Mechanical Half Keyboard helps people dip their toes in the waters. It is designed just as you would find a full keyboard except that this one only is the left half. The build quality is decent enough to not raise any concerns. Unfortunately, it does happen to slide around during rigorous gaming hours. But that can be worked around as well. Keys. As the name suggests, the SADS Half Keyboard is a mechanical one. Its keys are black switches underneath. The black switches trigger fast with no debouncing and minimal delay. These switches make very little noise so that's a bonus too. The keys are very well built and they are slightly lifted above the surface. Just how mechanical keys are. The keys are not reprogrammable but it is a good place to start for those not familiar with the half keyboards. Features? As mentioned above, the keys on the SADS half keyboard are not reprogrammable. But it's a decent choice nonetheless. And this keyboard does support plug and play. That on top of its small size, makes it a really friendly companion for just about anyone. 
It does have the RGB flare about it so it's not bland. But the RGB lights cannot be changed, and they stay as is. The number 8 position is held by K50 RGB one-handed mechanical keyboard. This keyboard might not be as flamboyant as the rest of the big ones, but it still packs quite a punch. Just like how half keyboards are, the K50 RGB essentially mimics the left side of that of a normal keyboard. On the bottom is a large wrist rest that lets you game for long hours without feeling any strain. The wrist pad is a little bit in the shape of a hexagon with the space key right beside it. The space key is a little in an awkward position because it is lifted above the surface level. Your thumb might get a little tired depending on your hand positioning. Keys. Despite being cheap, the keyboard does sport mechanical keys. That's always a bonus. The 35 keys are blue mechanical keys. They're not as great as Cherry MX keys, but for what the keyboard does and the price it rocks, it's more than enough. Other than the main keys, you also have six macro keys labeled from GUN to G6. Features? The K50 RGB half keyboard does not have a ton of things to show for, but they're decent. Due to the placing and spacing of the keys, things can get uncomfortable for some. But for a cheap game and keep it, you can't complain much. The manual provides you with instructions on how to add and define the macro keys. There are seven different colors and five different modes for backlit lighting to choose from. Next at number nine, the Game Sir G Cone 100 is specifically optimized for games like Fortnite and PUBG. The keys are closely placed together, which ends up being a double-edged sword. The keys can help in you reacting faster, but you may just end up pressing another key by accident. Additionally, it is a light keyboard, so you will not have trouble carrying it around. The wrist rest can be detached by sliding it off, which steps up the portability game. Keys. We again have a keyboard for those on a budget that comes with blue mechanical switches. Along with the main keys, you also have four extra keys on the side, which can be remapped. The arrow key mode can allow you to make use of the secondary keys as well, which are labeled on top. It's not the best and not the most reliable one, but can it get the job done? If you want something basic but still clicky and tactile, then yeah. Features? This game Sir G Cone 100 keyboard supports plug and play functionality. Just connect the wire and you're good to go. However, if you want to assign macros or just do any customizations this keyboard offers, you'll have to use the software. The keys can get noisy at times and that bugs people out. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Jankle RGB 35 keypad. The Jankle keyboard, well, half keyboard is just as you'd expect it to be. It is a cutout of the left side of a normal keyboard. There is a rather large wrist pad at your disposal which makes sure that your hand fully rests atop it. However, the wrist pad is not that comfortable. It is just a big block of plastic with a slightly tilted shape. Additionally, the keys are a little too widely spaced. For people with small hands, it might be a little problematic. Keys. This Jankle keyboard has a total of 35 keys on it. Other than the addition of an FN key instead of a Windows key, there isn't much different from a normal keyboard. The FN key allows you to use the function keys on the top for different purposes. The keys are pretty generic, but you won't have any trouble with them if you're just a light gamer with not many needs. Features? This Jankle 35 key keypad does not allow any redefinition of macros. Instead, there are predefined macro keys on the top that you can use with the FN key. And, as the name suggests, this keyboard does have RGB lights. This keyboard is really small, so it won't take a lot of space on your desk. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.